The DOJ shall prosecute and file the appropriate charges against all those involved in the anomalies investigated, whether against government or private person. At naubos na nga ang pasensya ni Pangulong Duterte sa kaliwat ka ng sumbong ukol sa korupsyon sa gobyerno, kaya ipinagutos na imbestigahan lahat ito. Pero bago yan, mag-subscribe at i-click ang notification bell para updated ka sa ating mga balita. Let me just read for everybody. I hope that all government workers, uh, officials are listening. Uh, this is my uh, a memorandum from me, the President, to Secretary Bernardo uh, I. Guevara, Department of Justice. Uh, the subject is investigate of allegations of corruption in the entire government. Lahat. Ito. Further to the directive issued by the Department of Justice, DOJ, through memorandum from the President dated 7 August 2020 to organize a panel to investigate allegations of corruption in the Philippine Health Insurance Corporation. The DOJ is hereby directed to investigate allegations of corruption in the entire government. Lahat na. Kuridas uh, ito. In pursuit of this directive, the DOJ shall have the authority to decide which allegation to investigate, taking into consideration the gravity thereof and their impact on the delivery of government service. It may create as many panels as it deems necessary to adequate and may invite or direct other bodies and agencies of the government to assist or be a part of such panel. The DOJ shall prosecute and file the appropriate charges against all those involved in the anomalies investigated, whether against government or private person, as may be warranted by the evidence gathered subject to applicable laws and rules. The power and authority of the DOJ under existing laws and previous directives to investigate the commission of crimes and prosecute violators shall not in any way be diminished by this directive. This directive shall remain in effect until June 30 of 2022. Pag alis ko, unless sooner lifted or revoked. Uh, why, 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 why should I revoke or leave this good uh, order for immediate compliance? Well, kayong, you might have the, 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 the notion that well, the ombudsman is the uh, pinaka number one. Ideally, you go to govern, uh, yung malalaki, uh, if I were uh, to have my say. Pero ang gobyerno, ang presidency, can investigate, can, uh, well, send you to prison. Kaya nga, kung ang prosecution nito is the ombudsman ultimately. But uh, pagkapakyat kasi nito doon, may recommendation na. And if uh, the ombudsman will uh, uh, say that it's a well-studied uh, complaint, then obviously you are going to jail. Ang mahirap niyan, ang mga anak mo mapahiya. Pamilya mo mapahiya sa... Uh, ganitong kasi ipapublish ko talaga sabi ko, yayariin ko eh, 
yung pilhat wala na. Skeleta lang na remain. Talagang hindi ko bubuwagin yan because hindi ko, hindi, hindi madali na mag, it's not easy really to create another one. But uh, uh, I think uh, by this time marami na kasi na, na, pa, na suspend. Again, do not try to resign to escape culpability. <laughs> that ain't uh, that ain't accepted uh, dito sa gobyerno. You cannot resign when you have a case pending.